Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. As always, today we're going to show you how to fix rich TX32.OCX errors. This is an error you get when running some programs because it's missing a file that's part of the Visual Basic 6 runtimes. My understanding is that it's not in Windows, and then when it is, sometimes the rich TX32OCX file is missing. So this is a really simple fix, but it's a little confusing like everything else, so I'll try and take you through it. First thing you want to do is see if you have the file that will help us move forward. So we want to open File Explorer, click on the main drive C and then click on the Windows folder and copy and paste that right there and click the blue arrow and we're gonna wait and see if we have the file. So there's two things we're gonna do when this is done just to let you know. We're either gonna download the file and put it in your Windows folder where it belongs and if it still doesn't work, we're going to register it so that Windows recognizes it. So, I hate to ruin the surprise, but I don't have it. So, what we're going to do is, I know it's in my download folder now, but for you, check the video description, expand it below, download right here, click download at Major Geeks or download now. Once you have it, extract the file, which is the file we're looking for. Is it done searching? It is not. And we're going to copy that to the correct folder. Let's make sure we know what we're doing. Windows 10 and 11 32-bit, you're going to want to put it into System 32. Windows 10 and 11 64-bit, we want to put it in Windows SysWow 64. And if you're on Windows 7, you do it in the same folder as Windows 10 and 11. So now you know where to put it. We had trouble trying to copy and paste it, so I recommend you drag and drop. As you can see, we don't have it. So I'm going to go over here to my downloads. Here's the file. And I'm going to expand C. Windows, I'm on 64-bit, so I'm going to look for this Windows SysWow 64 folder. There it is right here. And you can either just drag and drop it. I'm out of habit. I'm a right-click, drag and copy guy. You need administrative permissions. should have mentioned it earlier. Typically, most people are, but you do need to be logged on as administrator. If you get this, click continue, and you're all set. You can close File Explorer for right now. Now you can stop what you're doing, and you can actually go ahead and see if the application or game, whatever you have, is working now. If it's not, or you already have the file, we can try to register it. So once again, we have to use Command Prompt as administrator. I had no luck with Windows Terminal, no luck with PowerShell. It only worked in the command prompt. So we'll do the Windows key plus S to get there. It's one way to do it. Put in CMD. And click on run as administrator right here. You get the user control, account control prompt. It doesn't roll off the tongue. All right, let's take a look. So I know where it is. Here's your commands. Windows 7, 10, and 11, 64-bit. We're going to copy and paste that line. Or you can type it if you feel like it and Windows 10 11 32 bit that might work for Windows 7 32 bit too I don't have it to try it so I'll probably add that in and just assume that it works so let's right click and copy that and we're looking to get that to register it and give us a message like this when we're done let's hope it works there you go so now that you see the DLL register server in whichever folder you used above succeeded that's what you want. If you typed it and you get a bunch of red letters that are error, odds are you made a typo, which is why sometimes coming to our tutorial, copying, pasting this code, at least you get it right the first time. So there you have it. So basically to fix the rich TX32.OCX errors, to summarize, you need to know you have the file. And if you have the files, it registered. We also have a link here to download the Visual Basic 6 runtimes. That's a possibility as well. So if neither one works, you might want to try and make sure you have the entire runtimes installed. And I'll actually edit the tutorial a little bit for that as well, just to make sure. I think I've got a link to it, though. Yeah, right here. There you have it. And that's how you can fix rich TX32.OCX errors. And actually, there's some other similar errors that may pop up as well that come up with similar files. But that's the big one. There you have it. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.